Well, when you say type of elevator, what do you mean? Like, however you want to do it. Like some people are like a full glass elevator. So oh like yeah, no, I hear you. The top, however, yeah. I like glass elevators for sure, and I love heights. My wife does not so much so, so she, she gets she gets scared. She, her feet give out from under her. But uh, okay, so my elevator pitch. So um, I am the most ambitious lawnmower man you ever met, who extended and, and expanded into poop scooping or pet waste removal. Um, so my background: I started out mowing yards uh, even before high school. As early as eight years old, I was mowing yards and. I learned pretty quick that if you're willing to do the work and deal with the heat, you can do pretty good uh, mowing yards at just about any age and just about any income level, um, starting at eight years old and kind of working from there. Um, so I started out mowing yards, could never get away from it because I, I made, made such a good living doing it. I couldn't seem to make a good living doing anything else. And about a decade into my adult uh, my adult life, I, I discovered the concept, or at least I acted on the idea of starting this pet waste business, thinking that uh, I could just slap pet waste removal on the back of a door hanger that I would pass out for lawn mowing in the suburbs of, of North Dallas. And that was the idea. Uh, it didn't work. It, it didn't work at all, actually, because not everybody has dogs, and so the door hanger thing really didn't play, it, play out. But I still started it and we discovered new ways to get business for pet waste removal and fast forward about a dozen years after we started pet waste removal, our pet waste removal business is double the size of any of our mowing businesses. So it, it kind of took over. <laughs> it's, it's funny you say uh, eight years old because I was on the phone with